The Data Loader is an easy-to-use feature within Soligo's Integrator I.O. platform that provides the ability for a business user to select a delimited file from their local or network drive and easily import the data in that file to any SaaS application. In this video, we will show you how to add or update data into NetSuite in four easy steps. To access the Data Loader, simply click on the Data Loader option located in the Integrator I.O. homepage or found under the menu options in the top left-hand corner of the Integrator I.O. UI. Once the Data Loader has been loaded, there are four easy steps to follow. Step 1 allows the user to select the file to upload. This is accomplished by clicking on the Select CSV File button on the page. This will open a File Explorer window that will allow the user to navigate to the required file. Once the file is selected, the Integrator I.O. platform will load the file, at which point the user can define some criteria about the file such as delimiter type, if the file has a header, row, or if records should be grouped based on a key column. Step 2 allows the user to configure the import into the desired applications. The first action in this step is to define the application the file will be uploaded to. In this case, we're importing data into NetSuite. Based on the application, the Integrator I.O. platform will then ask the user to define the necessary criteria needed to upload the file. This includes information such as defining the connection the system will use to upload the file to, what record types will be accessed, and I selected the customer record type here. Will the system be adding posting records to the application? Will the system be updating records to the application, or will both actions be required? If updating records, the user will then be able to define criteria to identify which records to update within the system. Step 3 allows the user to create a mapping between the source file and the application being uploaded to. To set up the mapping, the user can either use the drop-down option to select the field values or load the Integrator I.O.'s visual mapping tool, which will allow the user to point and click to the desired fields. Once the mappings are defined, a user can preview the uploaded data prior to saving the map to ensure there are no potential errors with the mappings. Step 4 allows the user to name the data flow and define the integration tile for the job to be saved under for future use. Once these four simple steps have been completed, the data flow will execute and the user will be able to monitor the progress in the Integrator I.O.'s dashboard screen. When the data flow is completed, running the status of that data flow will be displayed. The user will be presented with useful information such as the number of records successfully imported, as well as if any errors were generated, they will be clearly defined so that the user can take the required action to correct the errors and attempt the upload again. If you're interested in learning more, come visit us online at www.saligo.com or call us today.